You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Forgates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich at the Jacklich Law Group. Join us as we honor America and those who protect and defend our freedom both at home and abroad for the singing of the national anthem. Today performed by Anne Marie Denny. Game show. That's the big dog himself. I'm Wayne Viner. And there's Bruce Foster. Maryland cannot get it done today. 8378 on senior day. To switch up the order today. Rick, what'd you see today? They had a 10-point lead at the half. They came out the first couple minutes of the second half. 16-point lead. And then just, I don't know, just turnover, 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 turnover. It looked like the scoreboard got broken at one point. It's 64. They didn't score. I think it was like eight minutes. But uh, thank God for Jameer Young over the last two years. What a gift he was this program. The first kid from the math in 20 years since Travis Garrison. And he came in. I just thank God for, for him. And I uh, just thank you for all the seniors. Right. Well, you had uh, Jari Long got a start today. He Pretty actually well. did okay. 12 points, 4-6 on the floor. Uh, it, was this Juju's last game? What do you think? Yeah, I'm hoping he'll be back. I think he'll be back. Uh, Scott, 15 points. Did enough from three. He had a cold spot. He goes four for ten from beyond the arc. He started slow. He was 0 for four in the beginning of the game. Hit a big three. Kind of get him going. And, but uh, second half, you know, you're a fifth-year senior. You've got to take over. He was not able to do that. And you're right about getting stuck. With about 10, 10 and a half minutes to go, it was 61-58. And Juju had that elbowing foul. And Maryland sort of gets stuck there all the way down to the 353 mark in the game. They only scored three more points. It was a Jamie Kaiser three with 949 to go. We've seen this before. They get stuck. They run out of gas. And I, I guess they're just, the bench never really developed this year. Do you have any, any sense of how, with only two games to go, because you have Penn State, and you've got at least one big tough tournament game. Any way to overcome this at this point? You see the same thing all year. They just really struggle to score sometimes. It seems to me the key play is just get the ball in Jameer Young's hands, let him get fouled, get him the line, he's automatic. They made all the foul shots today. I think in the end of this one, we were over 90% from the line. So they just have to just get him, get him to the line. That's a big thing. Uh, Rick, thanks for jumping in. It's always good to have the big dog here alive. And we'll be back after this word from the big dog himself on the Big Dog Post Game Show. Since 1991, Viner Forgates has completed thousands of projects across the D.C. metro area and around the globe. Use Viner Forgates for your next IT project. Hey, Rick Jackson, who's your favorite number one term? Stefan Diggs, DJ Moore. Really? Now, come on, you know, Rakeem Jarrett's always been my favorite number one. Hey, Rock Jarrett, who's your number one? The Rick Jacklish Law Group. Why? Awesome trial results, unbelievable customer service, plus you've taken great care of my mom over the last 20 years. Just some of the reasons that the Jacklish Law Group has been voted the number one personal injury trial firm in the entire USA. If you're hurt, call the Big Dogs. 855-BIG-DOG-1.
Second half of the basketball postgame show. You know, Maryland had a pretty good run to start this game, Bruce, and got up, and then the wheels fell off. What did you see? I saw a team that was winning 48 to 33, and I texted my son who went to Indiana and was rubbing it in a little bit. And then before I knew it, we lost and got blown out. It was almost unbelievable. But again, you live by the three, you die by the three. They didn't do bad with the three today until it mattered. Down the wire when Indiana made its run. And again, look, give Indiana credit. They played, they played really well in that second half. They scored 50 points. They were down 48 to 33, and they wound up with 83 points. They scored 50 points in 16 minutes. I mean, that's not a Maryland defensive team, but they were high flying and wheeling and dealing. And at the end of the day, the only thing that's good about this game is that it, it, it's not like for the conference championship. It's not just, it was for like, are you in the play-in or you're not in the play-in? I mean, you talk about that defense in the second half, Indiana shoots 73%. Very un-Maryland-like defense. So that's enough about this game. Nobody's particularly happy. I got a couple other points before we wrap this up. 22 years ago today, Maryland beats Virginia 112 to 92. It's the last game in Cole Fieldhouse. Does it, it day. does it seem that long ago to you? Yeah, it does, to tell you the truth. That's when we won the title, and it does seem that long. But uh, hey, two memories. You know, hey, look, if you don't get upset about losing, then you're not a fan. You don't give it. You know, I care. I'm upset that we lost. And on top of it, we lost lacrosse. It was a bad day, period. Bad day. Uh, as usual, I'm here to, to, to sort of pick up the good part. Shaver Young has a good stat line. A I great know. career. Yeah. A great two-year career. As Dante Scott had a great career here. I hate for this to ruin it, but this game will be forgotten about. Look, we got a game a week from the day, and then they play in the tournament. You never know what happens. One game. Yeah. And as we, we pan up... Last game here for the scoreboard. Next year you'll see a new scoreboard up there. Some new recruits, and uh, as many say, it's, it's time for the Derek Queen era to start off here in College Park. Maybe we can start a segment early from Albert King to Queen, from King to Queen. That's very a, good, very that, good. That's a 50 year span or so, but we'll talk more about that after Penn State on Sunday. Good afternoon from College Park.